it is a new season with Spezia. So, we survived last year comfortably, so now we're gonna try to aim to finish up higher in the table, maybe even get a Europa League spot, but it's still gonna be tough, and we made some new transfers to strengthen the squad. So, our marquee signing for the summer was Luca Pellegrini from Juventus, 76 overall, 22 years old. We sold some players, and we got a few free agents, Nicholas Lichnowski from Chile. We've got some really good ones, too. Ilzat Zirov, 80 overall, 18 years old from Russia, has potential to be special. Amadou Traore, 81 overall from Mali. He only has a one-star weak foot and one-star skill moves, though, so, yeah. And we got Leo Casa from Norway. Again, has potential to be special. So we got some good players in. And now, let's try to do our best in the season. Let's get into the highlights. All right, first game of these highlights, they went to face Roma. Um, and their stadium, I forgot what it's called, shouldn't know that by now, but anyways, we got a penalty here for handball early in the game, we got penalty, Yannis Antiste steps up to the spot, goes to the left side, Donnarumma doesn't move, and Yannis gets his first goal of the season right here in the 7th minute, then which later in the second half, nice through ball, Stone Mambo, gets to cross and it's Antiste again gets his second goal with a powerful header they were 2 0 up and cruising and surely he would win the game from there Roma did though get a consolation with a scrappy goal header blocked blocked again and it somehow ended up going to Lorenzo Pellegrini who trips over our goalkeeper so it ended up being 2-1 then late in the 90th minute open here put a shot Passed it to Spinozola, and Spinozola made it 2 2. Mad that we bonked that one, but it was a, a draw against a very tough Roma team. Next game against Fiorentina. Zirov, our free agent, runs down the line, crosses it back in, and he's turns, and that's a great finish from him. He's been on form this season, on fire. He took a 1 0 lead against Fiorentina. And up at the other end of the pitch, Antiste finds Zaniolo, and Zaniolo gets his first goal of the season with a nice finish. Antiste makes it plays 2, and it ends 2-0. Then against Atalanta, the cross is deflected, the goalkeeper catches it. Then the goalkeeper plays it out from the back, makes a mistake, and Antiste shoots from outside of the box. Not a lot of power on it, but he gets an inch of back in that. He's been on form this season. It's coming of age season. You love to see it. And then Ferde keeps the ball in. And then Casa crosses it. He, it looks like he gets fouled, but it ends up in the back of the net, so Antis will take it. So it ends 2 0, a win against Atalanta. And Alice Verona at home. Christian Tizolas gets the ball, and he is on a solo run. And gets a nice finish there to make it 1 0. Spezia. And then Kevin Ruig cuts space open for Wule, who puts it in top corner. 1 1 between Spezia and Hellas Verona. Straight off in the second half. It's cleared here, but Antis gets it back. Tizolas gets it to Maggiore. He finds Traore, and he has an open net to shoot into 2-1 at home, which is looking to be a friendly game. And 60 minutes in, nice block, but it was a terrible pass out from the back. And Kevin Rigg makes it 2-2. Thrilling game here, and again on the attack. I, I don't know what our player is doing here. He trips up our goalkeeper, so he then can't save. I'm absolutely fuming about that. But, and then, in the 80th minute, Stone Mambo making a run down the line. Triore. Antiste. The Quinn. Is it Triore? And then Mambo goes down the line, crosses it in, and Jay Turner, the youth academy product from Australia, gets his first goal from the club. It's a bit scrappy, but he will take it. Last game of these highlights, Maggiore cut out out of the back, got out-muscled, 
and Genoa win 1-0. So we are about halfway through the season, and we are in 13th place with 21 points. It, we're doing okay, but I think we can do better with the squad we have. At least we're not Gratone with, like, no wins. Six points on the bottom of the table. In the Copa Italia, yeah, we lost to Torino in around the 16. We don't have much money, so we made a few pre-contract signings. So, if we take a look at those. Look at our signings. Um, most recently, we got rid of a few players we got this franklin zock 65 rated striker from leon um has okay potential thought we would get him and this is a bit controversial but we got mateus Pereira on a pre-contract i know i got him in dorch but he wasn't used that much he was only around for like one and a half seasons maybe two so i think it's okay if we get him in plus i tried to get another attacking midfielder in on a pre-contract but our contracts were too expensive, so that's our transfer business. Well, let's get into the second half of the season. Alright, the second half of the season. First game of the highlights against Benevetto. Fantastic through ball here from Richie, and that is a delightful chip from Christos Tizolas. That is brilliant. Probably one of the best goals of the series so far. And the audacity of the chip. And he executes it perfectly, and that was his first goal of the game. And I emphasize first goal of the game because he just went and got his second right before halftime. An excellent finish with his right foot. It's 2-0 against Benevento. Have a look at that again. He puts the defender, sat him down, and then puts it to the opposite corner, and the keeper was not getting that. Then straight after kickoffs, Antist wins it. He's in and through, one-on-one, -on -one, slows down, puts it in, bottom corner, 3-0, right before half time, we were cruising by then. Second half, we took the pedal off the gas a little bit, but still, delightful goal. Again, another cross, and teased with the diving header. He's had a great season, and we win that, that game, 4-0. Sassuolo at away next, and that was lovely team play to all this zero up and Antis finishes it off with the header a brilliant goal and Antis in through again first shot was saved but the second one goes in the back of the net that's the second goal of the game he's on fire this season what a season he's having and then Antis again involved in the play gets an assist for Zaniolo puts it bottom corner and we were cruising again against Sassuolo. So, um, our high line was exposed here. Myron Buadu on through one-on-one -on -one for Sassuolo. No clean sheet. Makes it 3-1. And then, final minutes, Franklin Zock making his debut gets an assist for Youth Academy product Jay Turner with a goal top bend. Brilliant goal. We win 4-1 against Sassuolo. This was a jammy one from Juventus. Erling Holland got on the end of it. And that would be the only goal of that game. Juventus beat us at home 1-0. And against their city rivals at home next. And a terrible mistake from Bradley Lewis. And Andrea Bellotti scores for Torino. And right before half time, Zirov gets it to Amadou Traore, it bounces around, he takes his second shot, and he has an open net to aim for, and it's 1-1 right before half time. Amadou Traore makes it 1-1, and then we give too much space to Antonio Sanabria, one of my better players in my Paris FC career mode, that he makes it 2-1, and Velocity from outside the box makes it 3-1. That was game set and match. And he lost again, and then at the San Siro, face AC Milan. It was a great attack here. No one was marking Sandro Tonali, and Tonali scores for Milan to make it 1-0. And then Castillejo on the wing here puts Rybar down, gets around Zima. Terrible defending, but it's a great goal from Milan. 
and made it 2-0. Then high press was on. Antiste wins the ball back and he scores yet again. Though it would prove to be were proved not to be enough as we lost that one. 2-1 final game of the season against Genoa. Should have done much better there. Fabili scored for them. And then Leo Casa making a run up to midfield from right back. Great through ball. Antiste makes it 1-1. And that's how it would finish. And that is the end of these highlights. And it is the end of the season. And this is our result in the table. We finished 11th place with 45 points. I think we finished higher last season. I don't, I'm not sure if we did. But still, we're on the rise. Our players are growing in overall. And we are some way off a European place. I'm like... 9th and 10th, vastly separated. Napoli won the league, but we are far off from the forfeit or the relegation places or the forfeit places because there's no relegation. So we'll take 11th place for top scorers. We have Yanis Antiste with 20. His breakout season had an amazing season so far. He's up to 77 overall right now. No one else can get on there. No one on the assists, as it looks like. I think Antis got a lot of assists, too, along with his goals. Clean sheets are a Youth Academy product. Bradley Lewis got eight with his back line with David Zima and another Youth Academy product. Branislav Rybar, who is also a pretty good player. So, yeah, and that's the end of the season. I'm going to be putting some more youth players into the first team setup and some new signings next year. But that's it for this epi episode, and I'll see you next time.